<laughs> hello, hello, good evening. Miss Lea, Adriana, you are here. Manuel. <laughs> hello, welcome. Okay. Hi. Hello. Let's see. Can can you please tell me what um what was our topic last night? Can you recall the topic? Expectation when traveling. Yeah, and then we were talking, last night we were talking about traveling, you remember? Different places? <laughs> we were talking about um, different cultures, food, different countries, cities, you remember? Oh. Okay, let's see then. Um, here, let's begin with this exercise. Yes, we're going to remember some um, adjectives here. These words are used to describe how people sometimes feel when they live in a foreign country. I need you to please think about them and then you tell me if each of them is positive or negative. Let's begin here. Let's go with anxious. What do you think about being anxious? Is it positive or negative? Negative. Negative, why? Negative. It's not good. Yeah, right? Yes, because uh -huh. you get a stress. A oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true, yes, it's true. Okay, let's see here. Comfortable, what about comfortable? Is it positive or negative? Positive. Positive, right? Why? Because you feel good. Yeah, you feel good, like the sun, right? Very good. Okay, what about confident? Positive. Positive, right? Okay. And curious? Mm. I'm so sorry. Positive? 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 Positive, yeah. Um, I would say that it would depend on the context, right? But yeah. most of time, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> but most of the time, let's say it's positive, right? Okay, good. What about depressed? Negative. Negative. Negative, all the time. Yeah, right? Yes, okay embarrassed oh my god what about embarrassed positive or negative negative negative, negative. negative. all right embarrassed is, embarrassed is someone who uh, make a uh, uh, warm things or, or embarrassed things. is when you feel or when you say shame. what a shame yeah there you go uh -huh. yeah okay you you are like kind of red here oh my god what a shame that's um, okay. that's feeling embarrassed okay thank you enthusiastic what about yeah. enthusiastic positive positive, positive. positive. yeah positive. you are enthusiastic people yeah great very good okay what about excited positive it's a positive, positive. It's positive. Yes. You feel happy, you feel eager too. That's great. Okay, fascinated. Positive. It's positive. Positive, very good. Positive. What, yeah, what about homesick? Negative. Uh, maybe. Negative. Negative. Yeah, why maybe? Maybe. maybe. Um, when I, I remember a person and places and depending. Yeah, mm -hmm. you are in a different country and you are missing your home, right? Your friends, the food, everything. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Insecure, positive or negative? Negative. 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 Okay. Insecure. What about nervous? Negative. Negative? 
Yes. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uncertain. What about uncertain? Being uncertain. Negative. Yes. Negative. Uncertain. Yeah, you are not sure about that, right? There's no uh -huh. certainty. Good. Okay, what about uncomfortable? Oh my God. Negative. Negative, right? Yeah, it's like you're not like feeling okay. And worried? Negative. Negative. Definitely. Negative. Right? Negative. Okay. Negative. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're going to use this vocabulary to talk. It's time for you to talk. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. And what we're going to do is this. Manuel, can you please read the instructions here, part B? Thank you. Uh, group work. Tell your group about other situations in which you experienced the feelings in part A. What made you feel that way? How do you feel about the situation now? Now, now that you remember, right? Okay, so that's what we're going to, to do. We're going to talk about different experiences, anecdotes, situations where we uh, mm -hmm. felt that way, right? Okay, um, yeah, thank you very much. Do you have the screenshot of the, of the vocabulary? Yes. 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 Great. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Let's go. Let's talk. Very good. Let's talk. Okay. Two or three people here. Okay. Please click on join. Click on join. Erika. <laughs> yes, I, I'm sending Mini. you the invitation. Thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. Jaime, welcome.
Cesar, what happened to you? I have problems with my uh, computer. Uh -huh. uh, I'm the room one with uh, yeah. the and... Yes. Okay. Um, let me send you the invitation again, all right? Let, okay. let us see if this works. Okay. Okay, there we go. Did you get it? Not yet. Okay, I will send you the invitation again, all right? Okay. okay. Let's see. But Aide is here. Oh. Yeah, let's practice with Aide. Let me okay. explain to you what we're doing. Hi, Hi Aide. Hello, how are you? Sorry. Okay, so we've been practicing. I'm sorry, did No, have... don't be sorry. We are so welcome. You are so welcome. All right. We are using this vocabulary, anxious, comfortable, confident, curious, all of these adjectives. And what you are doing is you are shading. I mean, you are telling your group about other situations in which you experience the feelings, these feelings, and what made you feel that way. How do you feel about the situations now? So we are using this vocabulary. If you want, you can take the screenshot so you can start like talking. Okay. Yeah? Yes. Good. Okay. There you go. So you can talk. I will be visiting like the all of the all of the rooms, all right? Okay. 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 Thank you. Bye, Aide. Oh yes, Franco. What about you? Hi, good evening. Uh, recently I I in getting in the, the class, <laughs> I don't <laughs> hear the, 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 the topic. But uh, I, I read the, the, the picture and uh, the, the, the question is, how is my feeling uh, when I, I, I go to another country? Uh, like goals, you know, for all the year. And some of those goals uh, are not complete. Uh, are not are not complete yet. So I was preparing as an, an rep, a report, and because I knew my boss will ask me about uh, some specific things that is still on, in process, you know. And well. It was okay. Uh, he like a a place only for kids, and I remember that I went there, and there was a girl that was telling me something, but I didn't understand I'm sorry, Manuel, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I am sorry. I was, I, I, I was six years old and I didn't know no, nothing about English. So, place, uh, I don't know how to say, uh, you know, where that, when there are games, where a place only for kids. And there was a little girl, and she was trying to uh, ask me for help, but I didn't understand nothing because I didn't know uh, okay. English when I was six years old. Oh my God! So uh, I, I felt so I felt embarrassed, really, really, really embarrassed. And imagine that! Imagine that he, I mean, that experience is in his mind. Imagine that, yeah. <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> okay. Yeah, when, you're, when you're not able to understand someone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's next? 
everybody Mariana. participate. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Very good. Okay. Are we done? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. Let's go then. Let's go. Let's go back. We did. We we done. Really. Hello. <laughs> Hello. We are back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And at yes. the beginning, it was only Cesar and, and Aide. But then it was Susana as well, right? Uh -huh. And Christopher. <laughs> yes, right? <laughs> okay. Nice. Very good. Okay. So, what is the next topic? According to the platform, then we are going to see the relative clauses, right? And what is a what is a relative clause? Do we have any idea? Yes, yeah, sure. What's a relative clause? An idea can be like a, a, a it a, a phrase that depends for the for the principal. Oh, okay, so you have two ideas, let's say, in the same sentence, right? Yes. Yeah, very good. Okay, let's see this quick video and so we can go over little details that are, I mean, good. it's good to remember them, right? Okay, ready? Relative growth yes. is um, who, who, what? W okay. question? Yeah, those Ooh. are relative pronouns, right? We go, we are using them okay. like Lincoln. Yeah, good, very good. Yes, we use them. Very good. Okay. Uh, okay, let's see here. Can you tell me about relative clauses? Sure. First, do you know what clauses are? Mm, not really. Basically, if you put a bunch of words together and it sounds like a sentence on its own, then it's a clause. So, is a clause and a sentence the same thing? A clause by itself can be a sentence, but you can also put two or more clauses together in one large sentence. In fact, one way to do that is with relative clauses. Okay. Why is it called a relative clause? Because one clause is related to the other. Kind of like in a family? Yeah. You and your cousin have grand <laughs> related to your cousin. Oh in the same way, a clause has a word or phrase in common. <laughs> With its sentence. Oh, the dogs. Okay. Can you give me an example? I feel like I've got hungry. Vanessa Jones, who sings like an angel. We've got two clauses here. What's the first one? I got tickets to see Vanessa Jones. And who sings like an angel is the other clause. Both clauses talk about Vanessa Jones, so they have that in common. But who sings like an angel can't be a sentence by itself. Well, I guess it could be if it was a question. Right, that's a good point. Who is a pronoun, kind of like we or him or this. Who is a relative pronoun, which we use for questions and for... Relative clauses? Right. What are the common question words? Who, what, where, and when. Good. Quick note, for relative clauses, we need to change what to which. Okay. But what about this clause? Like I said, who is a pronoun, so let's replace it with another pronoun for the singer. She sings like an angel. Yeah, that could be a sentence by itself. Or we could replace the pronouns with the noun they represent. Vanessa Jones sings like an angel. So we have two good clauses here, each in their own sentence. I got tickets to see Vanessa Jones. Vanessa Jones sings like an angel. Or we could put them together into one sentence. I got tickets to see Vanessa Jones, who sings like an angel. Let's take a look at how we put these clauses together. We'll use a different pair. We watched Toy Story at Dave's house last night. Toy Story was the first Pixar film. Are these two sentences related? Yeah, they're both talking about Toy Story. Right. Our first step in putting the clauses together is to find out the noun they have in common. Let's call it star instead of the noun that both clauses have in common every time. Works for me. The next step is to decide which is your main clause and which is your relative clause. So how do we do that? Sometimes it doesn't really matter. 
but often the main clause should fit better with the context. Are we talking about what you did last night, or are we talking about Pixar? Oh, okay, I see. So the relative clause is less important than the main clause? Kinda. The relative clause usually gives us more information about something in the main clause. Okay, that makes sense. But sometimes the sentence sounds better or worse depending on which clause is relative. Why don't we try both ways and see how they sound? All right. So let's say Toy Story was the first Pixar film is our relative clause this time. All right. Put it after star in the main clause. But Toy Story is in the middle of the sentence. If we put the relative clause there, it's inside the main clause. That's fine. Think of it like a sandwich. Okay. The third step is to remove star from the relative clause. We just take it out. We'll replace it with a relative pronoun. That's step four. What's the best pronoun for star? Toy Story is a movie, and we should use which for things like that. Good. Place it at the beginning of the green clause. And that's all. Yeah. What's our final sentence? We watched Toy Story, which was the first Pixar film. At Dave's house last night. I noticed that you paused before and after the relative clause, which is good. When we write them down, we put commas in those places. Gotcha. Now let's go back to step two, and we'll make the opposite choice. The top clause is the relative one now. What do we do with it? Put it after Toy Story in the bottom clause, but before was the first Pixar film. Right. Now we remove star from the green clause. And then we add who, which, where, or when. We add which, just like last time, and put it before we watched. That's right, and we're done. Toy Story, which we watched at Dave's house last night, was the first Pixar film. Both sentences sounded good, I think. Yeah, I think so too. So I guess it depends on the context this time. Right, but if it doesn't sound correct for some other clauses you're working on, try changing which clause is the relative one. Gotcha. What happens if I put the relative clause in the wrong spot? Then we get a misplaced modifier, which means you're giving information about the wrong thing. Let's try this example. My friend Greg has a pet rabbit who is six feet tall. The relative clause should come just after star or what the two clauses have in common. So here it looks like both clauses are talking about the rabbit. The rabbit is six feet tall. Hmm. Does that sound right to you? No. No. Then who is six feet tall? My friend Greg. Ah. Then let's say my friend Greg, who is six feet tall, has a pet rabbit. Ah.、Uh, okay. Very good. Yeah. This is just for you to remember what a relative clause is. Are we okay here? Everything is related, right? We have two different ideas, and we link them together, right? And then we use the relative pronoun. Referring to the to introduce the second idea, okay. Are we okay so far? Yeah. Yes. yes. Very good. Yes, okay. Okay. Very good. So let's、yep. continue here. Thank you. Let's continue here. We have, according to the platform, the、um, this topic, right? We go with noun phrases containing relative clauses. Okay, you remember that we practiced with gerund phrases, right? Which is a phrase which includes a gerund. So here is noun phrases, which is a phrase which include which includes a noun. Now, what what's the difference between a sentence and a phrase? Can you please tell me?、Mm. Or is it the same? No, no, it's not the same. Very good.、Mm -hmm. Then what's the difference? Because yeah,、uh, it's not the position. No, no, it's no. not the position. No. Maybe the the use phrase is just an expression. Okay. More complex. Okay. Very good. Yes. Okay. Anyone else? Someone else? No. Okay. A sentence. Is the yes. 
It's different. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, it's different. The, yes. the, the connected, the connected. Yes. Okay, very good. Well, the, okay. Yes, mm -hmm. let's see. The components. That's the, the components. Yes. The components. A sentence mm -hmm. is composed at least with a subject and a verb. Mm -hmm. That's uh -huh. a sentence. At least. Right, then we can have the complement and everything extra information, but at least a sentence has to have a subject and a verb. And a, verb. a phrase, uh, I mean, it's not necessary that a phrase has a subject or a verb, right? But mm -hmm. it has a meaning. For example, if I say good morning, that is a phrase. Mm -hmm. Right? There's no verb in there. No verb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, but it, but that has a meaning. Or if I say, very good, that's a phrase. That's a phrase. Yeah. You understand what I mean when I say very good, right? And that's not a sentence because of mm -hmm. the components. Now, look at here. We have here, what, uh, what's the name of this? We, we call it? You remember? Mm -hmm. the, yes, it's the, yeah. Relative pronouns. The, yeah, pronouns. thank you very much. Relative pronoun. And it, this is introducing, oh. mm -hmm. right? The relative clause. And look at here, two people. That could be a noun phrase, right? Or something. It has a meaning. It's not a sentence. Or one thing, for example, right? And then, then you go. You, you see like the components of this, right? Okay. Now, I'm going to uh, play the audio. So you read um, with the audio here, right? Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Page 31, exercise 3, grammar focus. Noun phrases containing relative clauses. One thing I'd really miss is my mom's cooking. One thing that I'd really miss is my mom's cooking. Mm -hmm. Something I'd be nervous about is communicating in a new language. Something that I'd be nervous about is communicating in a new language. Two people I'd call every week are my parents. Two people who I'd call every week are my parents. Two people that I'd call every week are my parents. My mom's cooking is one thing I'd really miss. My mom's cooking is one thing that I'd really miss. Communicating in a new language is something I'd be nervous about. Okay. Communicating in a new language is something that I'd be nervous about. My parents are two people I'd call every week. My parents are two people who I'd call every week. My parents are two people that I'd call every week. Okay, very good. Before we go and practice the structure, I need you to please pay attention to pronunciation and intonation here, okay? Here you are. You have here some examples and you remember these, let's say dots, purple dots, they represent the stress, right? So I'm going to play the audio. You listen to it the first time and then I'm going to play it again. I, I will be pausing so you listen and repeat and then we're going to do another exercise. Listen. Page 31, only. exercise four, pronunciation. Word stress in sentences. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Argentina is a country that I'd like to live in. Speaking a new language is something I'd be anxious about. Trying new foods is something I'd be curious about. Okay, very good. Now, I'm going to play them 
Like one by one, I'll be pausing so you listen and then you repeat. Everyone, please, right? Let's do it. Okay. Is that the important words in the sentence have more stress. There we go. Argentina is a country that I'd like to live in. Your turn. Argentina, Argentina is a country that I like to live in. Good. The place that I love to live. Speaking <laughs> a new language is something I'd be anxious about. Okay, your turn. Speaking, Speaking a new language, language is a something I'd be anxious, anxious, anxious about. Anxious about. Anxious okay. about. Very good. Anxious about. Good. Anxious about. Anxious. Anxious. Trying new things is something I'd be curious um, about. Um, Trying is something I'd be curious about. Very good. Very good. Now, this, this is the second part of the exercise. Trying new food is something I would be curious about. Yes, very good. Okay. I'm going to play the audio now. And what I need from you is to read the sentences at the very exact time, right? As the audio. I mean, it's not a competition that you read it like before the audio. It's not repeat after me, okay? That is done. It's at the very, the very same time. But I'm going to mute all the microphones so you do not interrupt the rest of participants because this is going to be like um, a practice for you. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm playing the audio and you do it at the same time, at the same time. All right, let's do it. Listen and practice. Notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Okay. Argentina is a country that I'd like to live in. Yes, I find right. Speaking a new language is something I'd be anxious Speaking about. Speaking a new language is something. Trying new foods is about. something I'd be curious about. Trying new foods okay. something I'd be curious about. Okay, very good. Let's do it again. At the same time, at the same time of the audio, right? Let's do it. Notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Argentina is a country that I'd like to live in. Argentina is a country that I'd like to live in. I'd be anxious about. Speaking a new language is something I would be anxious about. Okay. 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 Let's let's unmute the microphone, and now we're going to do it together, right? Can we please? Thank you. Okay. Everybody together at the same time of the audio. Thank Practice. You. Notice that the important words in a sentence have more stress. Okay, let's do it. Argentina is Argentina. a country that I like to be I'd be anxious about. Speak a new language. Is something I'm anxious about. Training useful is something I'm curious about. Okay, very good. Okay, you see how how this works? Yes, right? Yeah. Okay, very good. Now we're going to practice with the structure. Here you are. Okay, we're going to complete the sentences about living in a foreign country. We're going to use the phrases below, and then we're going not only to compare with a partner, but also to practice the intonation, right? So you have all of these options, and then you are going to complement all of these sentences. And then once you have the, once you have matched all of them, then you go and practice with the pronunciation and intonation. So I really need from you to take the screenshot so we can go to the breakout rooms and practice. Ready? Great. Yes? Okay, Ready. very good. Yeah, let's go. let's go. Yes. Very good, great. Okay, we are going to change the group. So you practice with different people. Great. Okay, nice. Please click on join. I sent you the invitations. Please click on join. Thank you. Yeah, very good, very good. Click on join, click on join.
Ok, Susana, Herbert, Christopher, did you receive the invitation? Ah, thank you. Yeah, Herbert.
my friend is one thing that I believe to be a part of the love. Uh, but it doesn't have like and since when you refer to month mm -hmm. since in six months I don't know uh, only a uh, uh, two, two friends. Uh, Are you oh. anxious about that Sometimes situation? I'm just depressed about this uh, getting us uh, in a new city. Uh, graduating from university. Okay. Yeah, for you. Number, number two is, it could be my pet. Is something I really miss. Your pet? It's, yeah, if he died, the, the pet. Oh my oh, God. Oh, he's passed away. I'm so sorry, Mike. Thank you. Well, one thing I definitely. 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 Be excited about it. Uh, the time to start the class, the class with my Oh teacher. my God, <laughs> <laughs> great. <laughs> extra point, extra point. <laughs> no, okay, <laughs> we are, we are in province. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, Trying new food, yeah, could be. Yeah, number, number 10. 10. Are You're in number are 10. Soothing. My God. Yes. He's very we are fast. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Uh, uh, I think I will be very enthusiastic about uh, getting, getting used to a different culture. Maybe making new friends. In making new friends. Or in uh, trying new foods and making new friends are the things mm. I'd be very enthusiastic about. Nice. Super nice. Yes. Making new friends and trying new or, foods. Or it could be I getting think. used to a different culture and I don't know, trying new foods. Good, good. Making good. a new language. Maybe, maybe. maybe. Yeah. Yes, okay. in my case too. Okay. I feel very enthous enthusiastic with I uh, learning other other language or or uh, travel other countries. <laughs> nice, very good. Okay, I am going to interrupt here because I I want you to have more material to practice with. All right. So, you will find here some questions for you to continue talking. Could you please take a screenshot so, so you can continue? Thank you. Are we done? Do you need one moment, please? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Yes. Great. Okay. So, I need you to please continue talking, all right? Okay. 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 Good, good. Okay. And the other one, I think being away from home, but the same. Well, I, I don't want to be uh, away from my family in, for these times. For, yeah. yeah. And that's too I, basic. And... Uh, being I, away I, from home. I have a... Yeah. I'm sorry. Go on, go on. No, that, that's all. I have a question for you, teacher. Because oh, yes? uh, oh, oh. Erica say uh, homesick means ansioso. No. That's what you say, right? No. Homesick. No, right? It's like nostalgia. Uh, Nostalgic or something like that? Yes, exactly. When you are missing your culture, your house, your parents, uh, your parents, your relatives, uh, 
Yeah, your uh, I mean the food and everything you you are feeling homesick. Okay. You are uh, missing. I I said I said I be <laughs> I said I'm sorry guys. <laughs> no, no problem, but it's, no, no, it's, no, uh, it's okay. It's okay. I, I, yeah, I was trying to remember something. Else. But, I remember but, for something, but it's not anxious. No. Maybe, but anyway, thank you. Teacher. Maybe they are like related, but I mean, homesick. Yeah, in some cases, eh? Yeah. For, yeah, maybe uh, okay. if you are feeling homesick, you can, I mean, feel anxious as well, right? But it's like so so i yes. said uh, i said two things i'd be homesick uh, for for are getting sick <laughs> okay <laughs> it's not correct uh, okay the traduction okay. is not correct the, but the translation right the, uh, yes, yes. Uh, sorry okay the translation. no that's okay okay yeah. in in homesick is like um Nostalgic. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Ah, but, but being away from home is 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 correct. Yes, it's something yes. that you maybe homesick. don't don't yeah that makes you feel homesick. Yeah. Okay. 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 okay good. Thank you, teacher. Um. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm going to show you another um. Uh, let's say group of questions. So I'm going okay. to interrupt you here. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. Um, here they are. Because I need you to continue talking. Here are some other questions for you to discuss. Can you please take the screenshot? Okay, wait. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. So you continue talking, that's the idea. That you use your English. Thank you. Okay, are we done? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no. No? Yes. Okay. You let me know. You let no. me know. No? Yes. Great. Okay. Please continue. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And to be in, an, in a new country and try to speak with them. And yes. And feel that fear because of your Maybe own way to understand. express. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Are we done here? Yeah. Yes, okay, very good. So I'm sorry to interrupt, but I'm going to uh, show you more questions. So you continue speaking, that's the idea that you use the language. So you have here more questions. Do me a favor, can you please take the screenshot so you can continue practicing? Okay. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Audrey, take the pictures and share, share it for us. Thank you okay. very much. Okay. <laughs> Continue practicing, please. Thank okay. you. Okay. Number 10. Number 10, yeah, good. Saturday and Sunday are two teams. I will be very enthusiastic about <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you totally. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, are we done? Yes? yes. Okay, yes. very good. So I'm going to give you, I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm going to give you more questions so you continue discussing and practicing um, the language. The idea is that you use your English. So okay. here you are. So I need you to please take the screenshot so you can continue talking. Okay. Done? Yes. Yes. Teacher, yes. I just I just have a question. Um I guess we're going to finish these courses on twenty twenty eight. Yes. It's and yeah. When it yes, and I I'm not sure uh what time we have to do the final test and like finish like all the assignment. Okay. If you want to finish tonight, do it. That would be great, right? The last video conference is in two days, on Thursday. 
Then the, the very last day for you to accomplish with all the exercises and, and exams and everything on the platform is this coming Friday. So that's the very last day for you to finish because on Saturday we begin like checking uh, who has uh, passed it, the, the module and everything. So it's like Friday is the last day for you to finish. If you want to finish today, that's great. Or tomorrow, that's great. Uh, there, I mean, it's not a, there's not a problem if you want to finish before. But the very, very last day is on Friday, this coming Friday. Right? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Okay. I'm clear. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. Okay, continue. Okay, I'm going to share my Thank screen. you. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yes. So the first question is, what country would you like to live in and why? Uh, I would like to start with that question. I would like to live in Germany. Uh, I have lived there like like on a year when, when I was studying there. Um, I was in, like in, um, in, in a little internship there. So I really love that city. I really love the culture. I, I, I also, uh, I don't like. Don't come <laughs> back. <laughs> I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Any money, any money. Any money, money too is very important. Yeah. Who is the person My you would be made first? It's very important for me. Your what? what? My coffee. <laughs> ah. <laughs> there are priorities. Priorities. There are priorities, yes. I get you, yes. Priorities. you belong to my club. Uh, I, like I don't like coffee. You don't? Oh really? No. really? Oh. Why not? It's very delicious. I don't know. I, I know I never get used to drink coffee. Okay. It's delicious with milk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't um, like the coffee of the Costa Rica. It's a coffee chorreado, le dicen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> chorreado. Ah, okay. They say it. It's a coffee. They, they, call, it. they call it. They call They, they call, call it. it. Yes. They call, they, call they, call they call it. They call it. They call it chorreado. <laughs> Good to okay. know. <laughs> no next. Uh, who, who is, is the, the person? person? Is what? No. Uh, who is the person you would email first after arriving somewhere new? Oh my goodness. Mm. My parents. Yes. Your parents. <laughs> my husband. Your husband. Yes. My yes, mom. my mom. Your mom. Okay. <laughs> what What will be your two greatest concerns about living abroad? Mm, maybe. Uh, don't understanding the language. The language, yes. Uh, what else? Living, living far of a supermarket. From a supermarket, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a great concern, yes. <laughs> okay, you know, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I need you to come back, okay? Let's go back. Okay. okay, let's go. Let's go. See Thank you. you. Yes. Nice talk. Here we are again. <laughs> yeah, very good. <laughs> nice talking. Very good. Okay, very good. Interesting conversations, right? Very good. <laughs> you were practicing your English. That's great. Okay. So because of time, we need to pause here, right? Uh, 
thank you very much for all your participation and everything. And uh, we're going to continue thank tomorrow. You. Okay. We, we have two more video conferences and then the module is over, right? You have until Friday uh, to finish the platform, to accomplish with the platform. Okay, but tomorrow we're going to continue practicing. Thank you very much. Okay, and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Good night. Good night. Okay, bye bye. bye.